the scripture talks a lot about the words that come out of our mouth. And so I want to encourage us with this simple truth to have faith-filled words. It's a simple truth, but it has a profound effect on our life. The words that come out of our mouth can guide our life. The words that can come out of our mouth can change our life and lead us in different directions, depending on what's coming out of our mouth. The book of Proverbs is a book of wisdom, and it's the wisdom of God, and it teaches us how to live our life. It guides us in this journey through life so that we can take hold of this wisdom, apply it, and it will direct us. It will get us to where we need to be. If we will apply this wisdom, it will direct us to miracles. It'll direct us to the things of God. You know, the Bible talks about the tongue. It says it in James. It says the tongue is a very small part of the body. It says, but with one spark, just like a forest fire can begin, with one word, you can spark a forest fire in your own life. It also compares the tongue to a rudder of a big ship. Now, the rudder of a big ship is a very small part of the ship. And even though the winds come against that ship and the ship has to go through raging waters, do you know that whichever way the rudder turns, it can change the direction of that entire huge ship? It's all about the pilot and how he directs the rudder is where the ship goes. Can I encourage us to be the pilot of our tongues, to speak words of faith, to release them in the atmosphere so that our words will lead us and guide us to the place we want to go. I was talking to a woman the other day, and she was talking about her beautiful daughter. She loves her daughter so much. But she was talking about her daughter having this job. And the job was not recognizing the talents that her daughter had. In fact, she was feeling like her daughter wasn't getting the breaks that she deserved. And there were other people she felt less talented than her daughter that were stepping up and getting all the good breaks, getting the opportunities. And it was just breaking her heart. She was so frustrated. She was going on and on telling me how if this doesn't change, this is what's going to happen. She's going to look up. She's going to pass her time to do what she wants to do. She began painting this picture of her daughter's life, and it was a picture of defeat. I stood there, and I was depressed. I thought, oh, no, is this what's going to happen to her daughter? And then I realized, oh, my gosh, this woman is convincing me. She's getting me upset and depressed. And I looked at her, and I said, is that what you want for your daughter? And she said, of course that's not what I want. For you, my daughter. And I said, then quit prophesying her future. She was allowing fear and those words to fuel this scenario of failure. Listen, if she was convincing me, what were those words going to do in her daughter's life? You see, we can either let our words of faith fuel our faith, or we can let fear fuel our defeat. See, it's up to us. We are the pilot behind our tongue. We can turn our life in the direction that we point. So I want to encourage us all today to release your words of faith. Listen, the pressures of life are real, and it's in those times that we need to be aware of what we're speaking the psalmist David prayed this prayer in Psalm 141. He said, set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep a watch over my lips. You see, David was in a very pressured situation. He was in a cave. The enemies were all around him. They were coming in on him. They were going to defeat him. And his prayer was this, God, set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch over my lips. You see, in the pressure of life, he was very well aware of what he was saying. Listen, I hope this has as much an impact on you as it has on me. 
Because I realize as David continued in that psalm, he said, Lord, I don't want to give in to their evils. I don't want to say what they're saying. I don't want to eat the delicacies of my lips. Keep me, Father. Keep me separated. Keep me looking up to you. You know, sometimes you don't know what to say, so don't say anything. Just pray, 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 God, help me, help me, God. You know, sometimes when I don't know what to say and my mind is swirling, I just begin to praise. I begin to just thank Him and praise Him. The songs that we sing here every week, I begin to sing those songs. You see, I've learned them here. I've got them in my heart so they can come out of my mouth. We've got to praise our way to victory. We've got to release words of faith. We don't want to eat the fruit of our lips. We want to direct our life around the evil, through the storms, and straight to Jesus. Straight to Jesus. There's a story in Mark 25. It's about the woman who was bleeding in her body for 12 long years. She had been to many doctors. She'd done everything she could. She spent all of her money. She wasn't getting better. She was only getting worse. She was frail. She was weak. But I love what it says in Mark 25. It says one day she heard Jesus was coming to town. And she said to herself, if I can only touch him, I'll be healed. One version says, she kept saying to herself, if I can only touch him, I'll be healed. Do you see those words of faith that she was releasing out of her mouth? I believe it's what gave her the power that day to get out of her home, push through the crowded streets to find her way to Jesus. You see, she was frail. She was weak. She had tried everything. But when she began to release these words of faith, if I can only touch him, if I can only touch him, it changed her body. It literally, her spirit gave life to her body so she could get up, get out of her house and begin to pursue her faith. Her faith that day, she found herself at the feet of Jesus. I can see her now. I can see her now pushing through. If I can only get to him, if I can only get to him. She came up behind him. She gave one last, if I can only get to him. She stretched out her hand and touched the hem of his robe. That's all she could reach was the hem of his robe before he took the next step. And immediately she knew her life was changed. Very interesting. Jesus looked at his disciples and said, who touched me? They said, there's so many people around us, Lord. Everybody's crowding around us. And Jesus turned around and he looked at that woman. He saw her faith. He saw the words coming out of her mouth. He saw how she got to him. He said, woman, you are healed. Do you see how those words led her to her miracle? Those words changed the course of her life. See, the interesting thing is that she not only had to fight through the crowd with those words, but she had to fight through the crowd in her mind, the crowded thoughts that were trying to tell her, just stay here, you've tried everything. The opinions of her family and friend and said, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. You're just gonna have to die. You see, she had crowded thoughts in her mind, but because of her words of faith, she changed her thoughts. Do you know your words can reinforce your thoughts? If you are down and you're discouraged and you speak down in discouraged words, words like I'm never gonna make it, this is never gonna change, do you know that it reinforces those thoughts? But when you begin to speak faith-filled words, you begin to get the Word of God in your mouth and you begin to speak it, it will change your thoughts. It will line you up and set you in the right direction for your life. Your life, your words have life and death in them. Do you know God spoke to the darkness and the void of this world, and He brought light and life to this world. He spoke it into existence, just like that woman prophesied 
her life when she said, if I can only touch him, I'll be healed. You see, she prophesied with her words. Jesus said, my words are spirit and they are life. I want to encourage every one of us to take the words of God, to take your faith-filled words and begin to declare your victory. You see, it doesn't matter about the winds that are coming against you. It doesn't matter the storms. You can pass through those storms and get on the course to victory. You can get on the course to your miracle today. Your words will lead you beside still waters. They will guide you in the paths of righteousness. They will set your feet upon a rock. Your words will direct you to the very garment of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Thanks for being a part of our YouTube channel. We post new videos right here every week to keep you inspired and encouraged. When you subscribe to the channel, it helps to get the message of hope around the world. If you've been impacted by our ministry, let us know in the comments below and share this page with a friend. We also want to take a moment and thank you for all you do to support the ministry with your donations and offerings. You help keep the ministry going. When you give, I believe God will open the windows of heaven. You'll see His favor in new ways in your life. I know our best days are still up in front of us. We love you and we'll see you next time.